Anna Pasalik standing by with turn of director Thomas Lamash. I'm joined by Thomas Lamash, who is not the tournament director but the referee today. Exactly, yes. A new title, so since yesterday. So I found out that it's a new title. How Whatever. Are you enjoying it? Uh, very much. It's like, first, it's very impressive that we like have in this room 180 million of prize pool and they're playing for the country, and still it's like serious poker, so it's not like pushing chips around. And I think everybody uh, really appreciate to be here and enjoying it, so I'm really impressed and surprised. It's a new format for you. Um, how are you finding yourself in this role? Very nice, because like, especially because it's new, I have a lot of, <laughs> you know him? I don't, but he just like, no, kind of snuck up on me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's my mini, Thomas. It's my present from PokerStars long, one year oh, ago. Oh, hello. Yeah. So. so who should I talk to now? No, to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed he has a microphone in there too, so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, it's a, like really a uh, 100% copy of mine, so I hope I look better than him, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, because we have a lot of uh, new rules, regulations, you know, and procedures. And also, like, for me, it's quite new. And I'm now, like, more than 20 years in the business. And uh, so it's quite exciting for me to have new ideas, you know. I have, I have to be more creative, you know. And um, I really enjoy it, you know, to be back in the first time to run this tournament. And it's always exciting to um, supervise a new project. Yes, that's for sure. So, and I know a lot of the players and like the stuff and also my stuff, you know, everybody is so excited to be here. The dealer says it's, it's like a very good atmosphere. It's a different setup, you know, and especially like I have discussion with Patrick Quayle before. He said that's stupid, the rule is stupid, you know. It's just also the player get used that it's like a new format of poker. It's not like the basic, the, the winner had all the chips. So in our format here in the quarterfinals, it could be happening, you know, that the winner is just a chip leader and not busted all the players. And where do you think this is going to go from here? I think it's a, it's a very good future because like it's the first setup and the first start and I know that it's already successful from the player side and also from the viewer and from the live streaming and I think Alex Tri from the GPI going exactly the right direction what it has to go so away from the flop shot away from the poker graphics and more into sports and the entertainment so nobody wants to watch poker anymore with flop shot and graphics and percentage so I think it's the it's the first step in the really right direction. I know last night uh, there was some talk about favorites. I know you're not supposed to have any favorites. Yeah, I'm, uh, allowed. <laughs> I'm not allowed to have a favorite, you know. Um, are we seeing any teams that we were not expecting to do so well or teams that are not doing so well and we're kind of surprised by? Yeah, at the moment, like Italy, you know, like Italy, like in the, in the, like, in the, in the opinion of players, you know, Italy is the worst country of poker and it's just gaming, you know, and blah, blah. And, and they're just surprising at the moment. So the, first, the last round was very good and successful. So they're surprising me a little bit, and yeah, Germany, like as usual, they are still on the top, and I still also Ukraine has still a chance, you know, to have a comeback, and this makes this format very interesting, you know, it everything will decide in the fifth round of the quarter and not before, so. So we have another one one heat after this yeah. one. The players are going to go to bed, then they're going to come early tomorrow. Do you think that's going to affect them? No, they're used. To, to win a big tournament, you know, uh, every player knows you have to play five, six days, you know, you have 10, 12 hours a day, you're sleeping short days, you know. And I think there, if you play for millions of prize pool, you're still more focused and more concentrated and more tired than when you play here, like, for your country. So I think the player used, and uh, I think that's the, that's the minimum problem for them. This is the first time where we have players playing in a team. And poker is not really a team sport. Yeah, that's, that's the only exciting thing, I think, for the poker, for, because there are a lot of young players, you know, they're not used, to, they're like egoists, they're playing for themselves, and I think this is the first time to think about, if I call this now, you know, maybe my teammates will be angry with me, so I think it's also a different view. First, you have to calculate your points, you have to think about your teammates, and you have to think about your country, so it's also like a different kind of skills you have to have now to play this successful. It's not, you're not playing for yourself, nobody cares about you. So it's, and I think also the player I appreciate and I see also the difference between teams, you know, there are some teams that have more, um, I think, team competition and some other teams they are like, still egoist maybe, playing for themselves. Which is also part of poker. It has to be, you know, like, I, I don't know any poker player who is very social, you know, so like, very friendly, you know. <laughs> if you're too friendly, you know, you have no chance to be successful. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much. I will check in with you tomorrow when we know um, who is going to be closer to the final. Looking forward for this. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Tatiana. Thomas Lamash, not the tournament director, but the referee of this match. Yeah, and seeing that, Dala, I was just reminded, there used to be this.